Hey, 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 got me, hey, play, hey, hold, hey, 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 got me, hey, hold, hey, play, hey, will, hey, change. The election results have now been confirmed. The 46th president of the United States will be Joe Biden. As you can see behind me, America has spoken and the passion is something that can't be withheld. Hey, my diamond, that hitting you, try me, we hitting that beam, I'm switching a legend, I'm living, I get it, I spend it, your whole yeah, we flip it, I stay on my pivot, you won't come Donald Trump! Donald Trump! This is what people do in, like, you know, like, big, like, big moments in history, when, like, you know, the Allies liberated France, people dance in the streets, like, we said no to the, the last four years of fascism and racism and just like for myself thinking you know what i mean like america at least the majority of us not everybody came out today and said i love my neighbor and i want to make this world a better place i don't want to trash the fucking world i'm sorry sorry i don't want to, say I don't want to trash the world i don't want to like put kids in cages you know and honestly like i want everybody to be able to go to the doctor you know what I mean? Like, if they're sick. They shouldn't die. Nobody should die because they're poor. And you know what, man? People, people in this state, in this city, I'm happy to be a Georgian, man. Because you know what, man? For the first time since Jimmy Carter, I believe, I could be wrong, we voted blue in this election. I mean, I think we're going to. And you know what, man? There's a good chance that John Ossoff and uh, I can't remember her first name, but Warnick for Senate. There's a runoff. Please go vote if you live in Georgia. Please go vote because we could literally take the Senate. It's important, man. People are dancing in the streets right now because they're happy. Because they're happy to be Americans. Because they're happy to be Georgians. And they're happy that we're not gonna fucking, or, sorry, we're no, not gonna, no, you're not gonna, not, put, yeah. we're not gonna put up with fascism. Yeah. You know what, man? We did what Germany didn't do in the 30s. We got rid of, we got rid of our fucking fascist leader, man. And that feels good. I mean, it's just celebratory, right? Like, I was joking with my friends when I learned the news, I was in the shower. And we, we celebrate for him, too. No, but when I learned the news of, you know, that he was president elect, I was in the shower and I just jumped out because I was so excited. And I think that's the moment we're here in now. But I also think while we're celebrating, we also have to realize we have a runoff in January. That there's still work to be done. Like, as much as we got Joe Biden and Kamala in the White House, we also have a lot of work to do after to make sure that our agenda is their agenda as well. So I'm celebrating tonight, but we start working tomorrow. How do we bring the country together now? That's going to be hard. I mean, there are always people who are going to be left behind in elections. Um, but I do think that this president is capable and um, the right person to to bring us together he can do it because he he has a he has a, a history in the senate that we um look to in order to bring people together um and i think he can do it i think kamala harris can do it too i think we have the right ingredients to move forward and beyond get beyond this sort of chip show that we've been in for four years so I'm a social scientist. I'm a doctoral student in counselor education. Um, for me, the information, the science, the, the whole approach to racism, for one, is just a big deal. I think we can start to have a different conversation than what we've been having before. I think we can center our issues very directly and clearly, and then we can just follow up with his policy, hold him accountable, hold Kamala accountable, and just follow through with the rest of it. I think everything is just kind of starting to begin. This is ATL, strong. There's kids out here, my kids are out here. The cops are high-fiving. We're all here in love, Atlanta did this, America did this. There's no negativity, there's no hatred, there's no division, there's no diversity. There's all these people that came together through this commonality of pain. We all done swam through hell. We are finally free. Atlanta's free, America's free. We the people stood and we are free. ATL, baby.